actually have a, a clinical background. I've been a nurse for many years. In my um, recent role, I was working in a specialist weight management service, helping people with severe obesity either prepare for weight loss surgery or help them lose weight through, through other methods. And as part of that work, I got interested in people's um, eating patterns and particularly whether they had in eating behaviour that was disordered or not. Um, one of the things that interested me particularly was um, people who eat at night because there's not a lot documented about that. So that sort of led me on the path really of trying to um, understand more about a particular syndrome called night eating syndrome. When I was doing my clinical work at the same time I was also doing a, a PhD in night eating and when I'd finished that, that then gave me an opportunity to apply for lecturer's post here at Manchester. Um, now, the School of Nursing is a very strong school with a very high research profile. So I saw that as a really good place to give me the best support and give me opportunities to help me develop my, my ideas further. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, obesity is a huge issue. Um, currently in Manchester, almost a fifth of the population are clinically obese. And, and if you look at um, the NH NHS projected figures up to 2050, if the trends continue as things are at the moment, then you're going to see 60% of men, 50% of women and 25% of children obese. And I think what's happened is that we've lost sight of the fact that day-to-day -day routine activity represents normality for humans and, and we actually think it's quite smart to develop and use technologies that help us avoid being active and I think the other thing is that now more than ever we've got opportunities to overeat and particularly to overconsume on high fat energy dense types of foods. Well for me um, the, the, the main value from research is that there are outcomes that will help patients. I'm not a scientist, I'm a clinician at heart using research to help patients. Um, for example, there, there's really important work going on looking at the relationship between genes and obesity. But for me, obesity research is more about helping people understand their behaviour um, and helping them find ways of improving that behaviour for the, for the better. Some of my work involves working with clinical teams in the hospital environment and also in community specialist weight management services. Um, but I'm also building links with other research departments within the university, particularly um, psychologists who specialise in disordered eating. I'm excited the fact that I think we're get, getting a much better understanding now of um, disordered eating patterns and the impact that they have on, on people's lives. And the key thing seems to be it's about control and whether people think they've got control or not. And for those individuals, if we can help them find opportunities to, to improve their control, then that's going to be beneficial to them because the more we understand about what those influences are on control, then the more we can help give them options for the future. Well, my main concern really is that because of the changes, current changes to the NHS, I think it's going to become more and more difficult for people to access specialist services. And despite the fact that we're probably likely to see an increase in eating problems in the future, I think more and more services are going to be limited and that's going to be restricted.